The Deputy Minister for Internal Affairs, Jumane Sagini, says the plan to feed school students in the region of Mara is a great example as it has increased students' enrollment by 85 percent and reduced absenteeism. While launching Together We Feed program sponsored by the U.S. government in collaboration with the Tanzanian government, Sagini says the program has enabled more than 300,000 students to benefit in Mara and the Doma region. Lucinia Bange reports. This special program named Together Let's Feed Them brought together stakeholders from the government and the private sector with the aim of helping students to do well in school. Deputy Minister Sagini explains the benefits of the program. The season changed and they could not even when they found they hardly harvest anything. So in actual fact, the, the situation at home in the Mara region we have a serious shortage of food. So when you tell them they don't have food to eat at home, they eat once, and you tell them, please, take the food from home to the school, what are, are they going to take? Maybe there is a need to reconsider that new outlook that much as we want to build sustainability so that they commit themselves to take the food from their homes to schools so that they feed their kids, but the reality on the ground is quite different. So we might wish really to look into what you have decided and what is actually happening there. And the Deputy Minister of Agriculture, Anton Mavunde, explains the government's strategy to ensure food and nutrition service in school. Nevertheless, the World Food Program Policy and the Research Report from Food and Agriculture Organization recommend each country to have a school feeding and nutrition program. Moreover, the African Union insists that each member state should put an emphasis on the provision of food and nutrition services to students. U.S. Deputy Minister of Agriculture Dr. Gerald Bronan has said that the program Together Let's Feed Them will be implemented in various schools in the country to benefit many students, that also the program will help to boost learning outcome for participating students that will open up opportunity in future. The program has benefited more than 31 million children and families in 48 countries, providing more than 1.3 million tons of food and commodities and technical and financial support. So a lot of great work has been done, but certainly we have more to do. And the USDA program is implemented through strong partnerships between implementing partner organizations such as global communities, national and local education professionals and agricultural producers in local communities. Instrumental to program success and a sign of our strong partnerships is the purchase of locally produced commodities for use in school meals. Various stakeholders who attended the launch of the program congratulated this tape and said it is an important step for the Tanzania have a lot of pro, uh, benefits for this program, including improving attendance, um, reducing the uh, short-term hunger to the students. Um, also, it will be helping uh, attentiveness to the students during the learning process. So we are happy that um, the program will not only um, benefit the children, but will also benefit the parents and the communities around because we'll be building capacities on how to take care of the children, uh, on how to mobilize um, for the commodities to make sure that they provide and they contribute to school.